COVID doesn't mean a heck of a lot. Not really a lot of people dying from it. However, the effects, as you pointed out, the effects, no one's tracking the deaths and destruction that are going on as a result of overhyping this COVID-19. What's up with that? Sociologists, economists, people that track numbers of people that do certain things are all saying the same thing, which is the disease is gonna be overwhelmed by the cure for the disease, meaning suicide rates, depression, economic wipeout, destruction of personal savings, disruption of your life as you know it, never to be the same, maybe factors worse than COVID. You have destroyed the life savings of what, half this country, right? How many people are gonna commit suicide? How many people are gonna be depressed? How many people are gonna beat up their spouse or their kid, God forbid, and so on, because people's <laughs> lives have been destroyed in exchange for solving a disease that is a seasonal flu. Let me ask you this, and you know, this is kind of your famous line, follow the money. Let's follow the money. Who makes the money when people end up in depression? Who makes the money when there's suicide? Who makes the money when all this is happening? Drug companies. Primarily. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is crazy stuff. This is, and I guess, you know, one of the bankers was pointing out on a conference call the other day um, that a lot of the financial companies are loving this because they're actually getting late fees and they're not having to waive them. This is crazy. People are missing their payments. They're getting late fees. A lot of these shark companies are not waiving them. The financial system's making a fortune too. No, they're just pushing them off. It adds to your ledger of what you're gonna owe someday. But don't forget, they're being good apples. They're not collecting from you today. So it's okay.